mantle is a resin casting. If you were to try to glue this on right now, it rocks a bit. So we're going to take the freeze casting and we're going to glue that onto the bottom of the mantle. Now, how do we ensure that things are lined up properly? Well, that's simple. We're going to find the center points on the mantle. So I like to use a block or something like a stop and I'll measure my entire piece and that piece is I like to work in 112 scale but for those of you who don't have a scale ruler I will work in common measurements 5 and 7 eighths so half of that is 2 and 15 sixteenths and you can see that that lines up with that pencil mark there now check your work you might want to go double check that and go from the opposite end and make sure you come out with 2 and 15 sixteenths and there it is. Then you will take a square and you will transfer that measurements down the back of the casting. You will then transfer that measurements onto the bottom of the casting. And that's your center line. Eventually that's going to end up on the center line on the model. You'll do the same process for the center line on the freeze. You're going to find it this way. And this guy turns out to be two and a half inches, just a little bit light on two and a half. And then this direction, it's two and a half. So that's also a tad light there. Same process, you're going to take the square. You can't really put the square on the carved detail, so you're going to put it on the back. Draw that line, transfer it to this surface, draw that line, transfer it to here, and give you a reference point there. That's your center line. So what's going to happen then is when you've got this mark that you, you can pull that mark onto the face, that mark will eventually line up with the center line mark on your mantle casting. So there's going to be no back and forth and trying to figure you've got a nice center line there and also you will end up working on a nice flat surface glue that together and a good adhesive for the resin castings is the cyanoacrylate glues the crazy glue type thing zap and gap works I prefer jet glue all right, now we're ready to glue these two together. When using these cyanoacrylates, more glue is not necessarily a plus. Sometimes a smaller amount actually does better. Now we're laying this down and we're trying to line up those two pencil marks. You have a little time to do that. That looks real good. Now you're going to make sure that everything is sitting flat on the workboard. You're going to squeeze the pieces together and do what we call the 20 second stare. You have to just sit here and hold these pieces together for about 20 seconds. And uh, eight, 10. Now after the gluing is completed, you can place that mantle and freeze on the model. And you can see this one, there's a little bit of a, a slight rock to it. So we'll take our sandpaper once again and we'll just take a few passes just to flatten out the back. We're not really removing a lot of material. We'll put that back on the model and that about did it. That's, that's real good. Okay, the final step on the fireplace is gluing in the freeze and mantle, which we've already attached to each other. You can use your center line and also the sides of the molding to get that piece centered. And right now we're transferring glue onto the plywood face of the wall.
Get another good transfer. I'll put a couple drops of CA on there just to hold it in place. That's okay if you get a little glue squeezing out. That lets you know that you do get a very good bond. The magic tool will clean that right up. Now that we've completed the cast resin pieces, we'll move on to the cherry trim.